Okay, here is our next task. Okay, this is still section 1.1, part 2. We just completed restating the Pythagorean theorem. Now what we're going to try to do, a little bit more geometry, we're going to try to come up with a formula that finds the distance between two generic points on graph paper. The first point is called x sub 1, y sub 1, and the second is called x sub 2, y sub 2. And they give us a hint to use the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, uh, I'm going to go to my notebook paper, remembering the conclusion of the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, and here's what I'm doing on this video. I'm drawing two points. I'm going to call the first ordered pair x sub 1, y sub 1, and I'm going to call the next point x sub 2, y sub 2. And I want to find the distance between those two points. The distance between those two points is whatever the length of this line segment is. Okay? So x sub 1, y sub 1 is an ordered pair. These are actual numbers. You know, when you're doing a specific problem, for the most part, um, Right now we're going to call them, you know, x sub 1 and y sub 1 because we don't know the exact value, so we're doing this generically. And here we're going to call this x sub 2, y sub 2, and I want to find the distance between these two points. So whatever the length of that line segment is, is my answer, and we're going to call this distance d. Now the hint that we were given on this problem was to use the Pythagorean theorem. So... I am going to create a little right triangle in my sketch, okay? I'm going to make a little right triangle that this is the hypotenuse of. Now, if I wanted to know the length of this leg right here, okay? If I, if I want to know the length of this leg, notice as I'm moving back and forth, the x value changes. The x value here is x sub 1. When I move over here, the x value here is the same as the x value here, so that would be x sub 2. This is x sub 1. This is x sub 2. According to my drawing, x sub 2 is to the right, so it's a bigger number. So the, the length here would be x sub 2 minus x sub 1. It would be the difference. Think about this. If this was the number 5 and this was the number 8, the length here would be 3, and we would do 8 minus 5. Likewise, if I want to find the length of this leg, the y, as we're going up and down, the y value changes. The y value of the top ordered pair is y sub 2. The y value down here at this corner is y sub 1. So the length of this leg would be y sub 2 minus y sub 1. And now what I'm going to do is apply the Pythagorean theorem. The length of one leg squared plus the length of the other leg squared is the length of the hypotenuse squared. x sub 2 minus x sub 1, that's one leg's length squared, plus the other length of that leg, y sub 2 minus y sub 1, squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. Zeus! Come on back, buddy! Zeus! Get back! These unruly children. Okay, now remember what we're trying to do. So see how we use the Pythagorean theorem? Length of a leg squared plus length of a leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. Now remember, what we're trying to do is to find d. Well, d is being squared, so to find d, I'm going to apply the square root property. Remember to do that. When I, when I apply the square root property on this side, I just get d by itself. Whenever I apply the square root property, it always starts with a plus or minus because there are two answers in the square root property, and then you take the square root of this side. ugly, isn't it? Now, remember what D is supposed to measure. D is measuring distance. 
Well, distance cannot be negative, so we have to reject the negative answer. Even though there are correctly two answers for this equation, since d represents distance, we throw out the negative, and that leaves me with d equals the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 quantity squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 quantity squared. And that, my friends, is called the distance formula. Now, I took you through a derivation of where it came from. I, did, I just didn't want to put this you know, in a video and say, here, memorize this formula. I showed you step by step where it came from. Now, in my college algebra class, I don't require you to go back through this. If you were in my pre-calc class, I would. You would have to do that for me on a test. But in college algebra, I wanted to at least show you where it came from, showed you that the Pythagorean theorem was used to get it. But on my test, what I'm going to require you to do is to know the formula. So from memory, you're going to need to know this formula. And then in several more examples that we're going to be doing today, you're going to have to know how to use the formula or apply it. Okay? So in Math 1105, have this formula memorized. It's called the distance formula. And in future videos, you're going to see how we actually use it with specific numbers. But if anybody ever asked you where the distance formula came from, you can say that the Pythagorean theorem was used to get us the distance formula, and you see it.